You may have seen this before, either walked by it in the grocery store or heard about it on the radio or in the news. Kale, a superfood for a good reason. But a lot of us don't know what to do with it. So today what we're gonna do is take a deeper look at how to actually handle this vegetable. It grows in, in a bundle. And you don't, especially for this, this recipe where we're actually not going to be cooking it, we're not going to want to use the center, the center rib. Okay, so we need to remove the green leafy from the rib. And there's a really simple way to do it. It's quite fun too. You strip it. Once it's been stripped, then you're gonna want to cut it. Now this massage kale salad is fantastic as a side or as a topping. It's very simple, so it complements pretty much anything. So for example, if you have a leftover soup, you could, you could even toss it in. So you do a nice chop, nice rough. It doesn't have to be super fine unless you, unless you want to. I'm going to put it in here. Now I'm working from a recipe that is in the Wyoming Local Foods Guide. If you haven't picked up one of these yet, it's a great resource. You can get it at your extension office. And it comes not only with recipes, but information on where to go to get local foods such as farmers markets or community gardens. So it's a great resource to have and it's free. Thank you UW Extension. So my kale is chopped up and I'll just drizzle it with olive oil. And what I'm going for is about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. This isn't a lot of kale, so you don't want to overpower it. When, and we are using olive oil, but you can use any oil that you have on hand. So we'll do that and we'll sprinkle a little bit of salt. And by a little bit, I'm meaning probably for this amount, a quarter of a teaspoon. And another thing I'm going to add is a lemon for flavor. So just squeeze a smidge of lemon to, to brighten up this dish. Then you just dig in and, 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 and start working it. The squeezing aspect of it is going to make it a lot more palatable. Um, it'll dull some of that bitter flavor that you get and really intensify whatever you add. But what you're going, going for, a good indicator is that color. It'll really brighten and so that's what you're looking for. And that's a basic massage kale salad. Another way to do it to kind of add a little bit more complexity to it is, you know, take some toasted nuts, sprinkle it on there. This really adds some depth, especially for, for those that aren't so accustomed to eating some vegetables. And what else I'm adding here is some dried cranberries. You don't have to, you don't have to go and run out and buy something, but any, you know, any dried fruit, any toasted nuts gonna give it, give it a nice combination. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. I'm Diane Sines with the University of Wyoming Extension, here to get you excited about vegetables. Happy cooking.